Hello everyone and welcome to the training video. My name's Johanna and I'm part of the customer resources team here at Quartix Vehicle Tracking. During the video I will talk you through our geofencing feature options and drawing tool, our scheduled reports, that's the reports which are available upon request, and two of our popular reports which require customer setup the MOT service date report and the out of hours report. We've chosen these topics as we want to make sure you're aware of and are utilising all of the reporting options available to you. If you don't see the same menu options on your account as the ones I will be showing you, this means you either haven't subscribed to our InfoPlus package or you do not have the full administration access passwords. If you have any problems with access, please do let us know. OK, let's get started with the Quartix geofencing feature. So a geofence is a virtual perimeter covering a specific location or geographical area. In setting up a geofence alert through the Quartix system, you will be able to live track if and when vehicles are travelling into or out of a specified location. Let me talk you through the different options. Firstly is the mandatory zone. In this circumstance, the vehicle is expected to stay within a certain area during a set time specified by the customer. An alert will be sent, either by email or by text, if and when a breach occurs when the vehicle exits the zone, and also when the breach is cleared upon the vehicle's return to the zone. The hours of operation can be defined for each day of the week and can be different for each vehicle in the fleet. An example of this type of zone is the parameters of a certain postcode for the benefit of a council. If councils are alerted when a driver has to travel outside of a postcode to complete a job or service, they can quickly assign this to the correct department or branch. Secondly is a prohibited zone. If a prohibited zone is set, this means the vehicle is not allowed to be in the area during the time specified. A breach occurs when the vehicle enters the set zone and is cleared when they exit. Again, alerts will be sent on each occasion. An example of this type of zone is the London congestion zone. Some city-based businesses like their drivers to bypass heavily congested or notoriously difficult routes, or those which incur tolls or other charges. There is a third option, the Global Movement Alert, which is based only on movement made during a specified time frame. An alert will be generated if the vehicle's ignition is switched on or off, regardless of location. This option may be useful if you wish to track if and when a vehicle is used for private use outside of working hours. Going back to geofence zones, the location points for these areas can be set up by our support team using information submitted or by yourself. To set up the zones yourself, you can either specify an already customised location or you can draw a polygon using the geofencing polygon drawing tool. Skipping now to the Quartix system, I will demonstrate how this drawing tool works. So just choose geofencing polygon drawing tool from the configuration menu option, then click on the map with your mouse to begin. To make your location points as accurate as possible, you can either scroll in or out, or click on the plus and minus buttons at the bottom right hand corner to minimise or maximise the map. Then just keep clicking on areas of the mapping page until you have completed a polygon. If you want to remove the last marker and remake it, just click the remove point button at the top. If you want to alter any of the markers, just click and drag. Once you are happy with your perimeters, just type in a name in the polygon name box and drop our support team an email to specify your zone rules, which are the hours of operation, 
the type of zone, for example mandatory, which vehicles to include, as you don't have to include them all, and the details of the person who will receive the text or email alerts. And that's it. If you wish to view or edit any of your polygons, you can select one from the drop-down box in the top right-hand corner of the page. You can amend the location markers or name if you wish. Just let us know if and when you want your amendments to go live. Here is an example of a completed polygon covering the London congestion zone. Within a zone like this, you can also set another perimeter which covers an area such as the low emissions zone. If your drivers regularly drive in and around London, you may find setting these zones helpful so as to avoid certain areas where your vehicles may not be permitted or may be charged. Quartix have the London congestion zone and low emission zone already set up. If you would like an alert set for these particular areas, you can just request they be activated on your account, providing you are on our Info Plus or corporate package. We wanted to make this geofencing tool available for you, so you can be in greater control of what's going on with your system and the data you receive. If you like the idea of setting up geofenced alerts, but aren't overly confident, you can either drop me an email and I can take you through the steps, or you can contact our support department with location points to set up. I'll move on now to the next segment of the video, an overview of our scheduled reports. Showing on screen shortly will be examples of these additional reports, which are available upon request. Firstly is the non-movement report. This report lists all vehicles which have not moved during a defined time period. This typically tends to be over a 24 hour period, but can be for longer if required. The image on screen now shows how this report will look. It's a straightforward table detailing registration numbers, vehicle descriptions and the date and time each vehicle last moved. If a vehicle hasn't moved at all during the specified time period, you will see no movement recorded detailed in this column. This report could be helpful if you wanted to check against driver timesheets or just wanted a quick overview. Next is the High Driving Hours report. This report, shown at the top of the slide, displays three pieces of information the total driving hours of all vehicles over a specified period of time, the longest trip made during that time without a break, and the time the first trip started. In the example, the report displays all trips over a 24-hour period, which exceeded one hour. The report is listed in descending order, with the largest driving hour period at the top. The longest trip and first trip columns give additional information which you may need to evaluate the safety of your driver's schedule. The monitoring of trip length without break is very important in the management of driver safety as part of employer duty of care. We all know the dangers of driving when tired, specifically during antisocial hours. So this report is a useful tool to just keep a check on driver activity. Lastly is the No Driver Tag report. This report is specifically for those customers using our Driver ID system. It lists any vehicle that has been driving without an ID tag recorded. The example report, shown at the bottom of the slide, lists all vehicles without ID during a 24-hour period. I'm sure most drivers forget to use their tags once in a while. However, this report can highlight if this is happening too regularly. If a driver isn't using a tag for another reason, for example if it's been lost, you'll be able to find out and resolve the situation quickly by viewing this report. The last segment of this video will focus on two of our most popular self-setup reports. They are automatically available if you have our InfoPlus or corporate package,
However, they will need setting up with your company's information before they can be fully utilised. The first report I will go through is the MOT service date report. Skipping back to the Quartic system, I will click on Edit Vehicle Management Data from the Configuration menu options. After choosing a group and vehicle, you will be taken to the main form where you can enter all of your MOT and service data. You can fill in some or all of the boxes depending on your requirements. Once you've set up your dates or readings and have pressed the update button at the bottom of the page, you will begin to receive alerts along with your weekly log reports, when a service date or event is due or milestone has been reached. The alert will appear in amber if the event is upcoming or in red if it's overview, overdue. You don't have to wait for the alerts though, you can access the MOT and service date report at any time to check for upcoming events. Just click into Fleet Management back on the main menu and click MOT service date report. Choose your group or all groups and vehicles, click OK and a table will appear listing all vehicles. If you have assigned information to any or all of your vehicles, you will be able to click onto them for more information. Again, you will be able to see if any events are upcoming or overdue. The most common use for this feature is to record MOT and service appointment dates, but you can set notices for anything which can be measured either by dates or by odometer reading. For example, driving licence alterations or renewals, tax renewals, tyre checks and also events such as eye tests or other relevant medical appointments. We offer the option to record by odometer reading as well as by date, as if your drivers cover many miles over the year, you may wish to arrange a service appointment after a certain number of miles have been driven, rather than book an annual checkup. We like to give you the option so you can choose what's best for your business and for the safety of your drivers. This report really is a useful tool for the service management of your fleet. The short time you spend filling out the information will save you valuable administration time in the future and help you keep up to date with all your required service checks. Moving on now to our out of hours report. This report can be used once your business's working hours have been set up on the system. I'll explain now how to do this. Going back into the configuration menu, just click Edit Vehicle Privacy Details and choose a group and vehicle. This page gives you the opportunity to choose your own monitoring mode. As you can see, you can choose between the standard 24-hour monitoring, the privacy and no monitoring. All accounts are set to, as, to standard as default and is the option we need to keep for this report. If you do not specify working hours in the boxes below, your units will record all trips made as working trips. To separate working from private, you simply need to fill in the boxes, for example 8 to 5 during the week and then 8 to 1 on a Saturday. Just to clarify, the times you enter need to be the hours you wish to be monitored, not the hours that you'd like to mark as out of hours or private. Then click update. The system will then log any trips or miles outside of your chosen working hours as private, listing them separately on your weekly and monthly reports, or as a complete list in the weekly out of hours report, which you will find in the fleet management menu option. Just to find your search and the private or out of hours mileage will be shown along with the date of each trip. You may find this report particularly helpful if you pay a different rate for out-of-hours work or if you just want to check how often and for how many miles a vehicle is being used for reasons other than work. This information could be relevant when considering vehicle running costs as well as fuel. Keeping a track of private mileage is important to HMRC wires as the NAC and tax implications for undeclared private mileage could have an impact on your business.
Okay, I've come to the end of the video presentation. Thank you so much for watching. If I can help you with anything, please do get in touch. I can be contacted on customer resources at cortex.net or 01686 623732. And our support team can be contacted on support at cortex.net or 01686 213 747. Many thanks for your time. Bye.